It's a place that hasn't seen a golf club since it shut down years ago. But the White Hawk Golf Club golf course in Bixby is top of mind, especially after last night. The Bixby City Council voted on whether or not the housing development would be built on top of that golf course. As you can imagine, residents showed up to their voice their opinions. Bixby City Council met yesterday to talk about the green space on 151st and Yale that isn't being used. Land that used to house Whitehawks Golf Course, but now a developer wants to build homes on that land. The motion to amend the plan to make the land residential passed the council on a 3-2 to two vote, but the emergency clause for it to happen immediately failed 3-4 to four because it has to be supermajority. Some residents are tired of going back and forth with the city and even with their own neighbors about the plan. I don't envy you guys have a tough job. This is a really difficult issue. And there are really good people on both sides. I've had some great conversation this week with Christine. And our neighborhood needs to heal and move forward. Others say the plan will increase traffic in the area that already experiences bad traffic during rush hour. The homes we own will lose value. Why does the city want to replace beautiful, dedicated green space with housing when we are surrounded by hundreds of other acres of undeveloped land in Bixby. Another resident says the problem has been talked about for decades. And since 1973, guys, this is over 50 years. I don't even think, Brian, well, I know Brian and half of these guys weren't even born yet. There will be another city council meeting in two weeks. In that meeting, they will vote again on the emergency clause, but public comment will not be allowed.